One of the things that you have to be careful of, pricing permits for bucks and does differently, is that, is that and, and we're seeing that in a lot of states, um, and that's one of the things that concerns me most as a biologist, is, is undervaluing does um, to the point where people don't want to hunt them anymore. If we, we cannot manage a deer population without adequate doe harvest, um, that, that's absolutely essential that we keep people interested and we make does as, in, as attractive um, to hunters as large antlered bucks. When you start giving away antlerless permits, when you start quiet, forcing hunters to shoot an antlerless deer before, it sends a message to the hunting public, in my opinion, that we don't value does as much as we do bucks. How many digests, hunting digests, do you see um, with a nice doe on the cover? You don't, you typically don't. And we're just as guilty in this state as, as most states. Um, we're proud of our bucks, but at the same time, I try to, so as a biologist, I try to strike that balance. I try to remind folks that, yeah, this is a great thing having these world-class uh, bucks in our state, but at the same time, we're gonna lose that world-class opportunity if we don't keep people engaged and make a doe harvest just as exciting and as important and as valuable as, as a buck harvest. So, I would like to make a antlers permit available um, in most every county and make it available for non-residents as well because for many non-residents, folks that come from Florida, even, even many of our southern states, killing a large doe in Ohio is a pretty exciting thing. I don't think you're going to do it for $74. Um, that's probably not going to you know, uh, be something that you're going to consider. You'd probably do it for $25 or $30 or maybe even $15. You would certainly go back out in the woods and, and take an antlers deer. So one of the things that, that we're trying to do is to move to uh, a situation where we would have um, hunters would have an opportunity to, to purchase an either sex tag and then everything else would be antlerless permits and they would be they would be county specific. We would issue X number of permits for county A, X number of permits for county antlerless permits for county B. So you could go anywhere in the state to kill to, to attempt to kill a buck and then we'd manage the antlerless harvest with these antlerless permits and that would be the same thing for, for non-residents as well.